Hello, everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we'll be talking about the top five RV roadside assistance programs that I can recommend for you. Now, what is roadside assistance for RVs anyway, and why would you need it? I mean, after all, doesn't your RV insurance cover that? Well, RV insurance is really mainly for collisions on the highway and for liability that might result out of someone being injured in that collision. It's also for property issues like theft and things like that. But what if your tire goes flat while you're going down the highway? What if you have a mechanical issue of some type that strands you on the side of the road? This is where roadside assistance plans come in, and they are going to be able to give you the help you need to get where you need to go to get those problems resolved quickly. Now, all plans, all roadside assistance plans generally have certain basic features that you're going to see repeated from plan to plan. First of all, they're going to provide some kind of towing service. Now, the details about that towing may vary, and you'll see we'll talk about that a little bit here. But they'll also provide some form of tire service for flat tires. Again, the details may vary. But what if your battery goes out and you can't start your RV? Well, they'll provide assistance there. What if you run out of fuel? they will actually bring fuel to you. And here's a good one. They'll provide winching services in most cases. Now, why would you need winching? Well, I've seen this happen a lot where folks are in a campground or they're camping in an area like at an RV show where it's grassy and then it rains and then they're trying to leave and they get stuck. Well, you can call a truck out and winch you out and get you on your way quickly with a roadside assistance plan. And they usually also offer locksmith services for those of us who seem to lock our keys inside of our RV. Also, most plans are going to give you some form of trip interruption provisions to cover costs that you might incur while your RV is being fixed. For instance, suppose you had a mechanical breakdown, you got towed to a nearby facility, and they tell you, well, it's going to be about four to five days before we'll have this done. Well, you're probably going to need food during that time. You're going to need a place to stay, various costs that are going to be associated with that. And trip interruption provisions help you cover those costs. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started with the top five roadside assistance programs that I'm going to recommend to you today. Let's talk about the differences. Number one on the list is CoachNet. Now, CoachNet is going to be the most expensive out of the ones we're going to cover here today. However, let me say this they are also one of the highest rated by their members. Now, they're going to cost about $179 a year for a towable, no matter what towable you have, and $249 a year for motorhomes, no matter what motorhome it is. They're going to provide towing with no limit on the mileage, and that's nice. Or they'll also provide you with a mobile mechanic to come out where you are if you choose that instead. And they will allow you up to $2,000 for trip interruption costs. That's nice. All right, let's move on to number two, and that's AAA. This is a very popular one because so many people already have their vehicle, their car with AAA, and so they just add on the RV coverage. Well, the RV Plus plan is going to be about $140 a year. The RV Premier will be about $210 a year. As far as towing is concerned, on the Plus plan, you get 100 miles of towing. On the Premier plan, you get 200 miles of towing. Now, remember, the most of the others we're going to cover here today 
have unlimited towing. So this could be an issue for you. You just need to think about what you're going to need. Now, they do provide for trip interruption too, and their provision for the PLUS plan is $1,000 for trip interruption. On the Premier plan, it's $1,500. Now, let's move on to number three on the list, and that is the Escapees Club Membership. Yes, Escapees is a club that almost any RVer can join and enjoy the benefits of. Well, one of the things they offer is a roadside assistance plan. So the membership will cost you $39.99 a year, and then the roadside assistance plan, an extra $109 a year. So roughly right around $150 a year for almost any RV, apparently. Now, the towing provisions they make is, again, unlimited, and they also will provide a mobile mechanic to come where you are if you choose that instead. Also, they give you $1,200 for trip interruption uh, costs, and that's good. And finally, there's a lot of other member benefits that go along with escapees. So you really need to go through those and see if those benefits would be great for you. And if they are, this could be really a good plan for you to consider. Let's go to number four on the list, and that is Good Sam. And Good Sam has three plans. They start with the standard plan at $129 a year, the platinum plan at $159 a year, and the platinum complete at $239 a year. Now, they have offers to get you in at much less, but this is what it's going to be from the second year on. Now, the standard plan is really just for towables, if you read the fine print. And the Platinum Plan and the Platinum Complete will add on fifth wheels and motorhomes. So keep that in mind. You've got to watch what they're offering you there. They do give you unlimited towing and a mobile mechanic uh, choice as well. But now, let me say this. I do have to say that I have seen some very reputable RVers say that they've had trouble with Good Sam when they had a large rig when it came to towing. So that may be some consideration. If you have a large rig like a diesel pusher, well, then it might be a good idea to talk to Good Sam first and make sure that they're going to be able to handle the size rig that you have before you get the plan. Now, as far as um, trip interruption costs are concerned, they'll provide you up to $1,200 uh, for your costs. Now, one more thing I'm going to say here about Good Sam, I have had this plan for the first few years of our full-time uh, travels, and I have gotten marketed like crazy from this company. I mean, they're going to be in your email box. They're going to be in your postal box all the time. And if you don't like that, then this may not be a plan that you want to be part of. All right, let's move on to number five on the list. And that's the FMCA, the Family Motor Coach Association. And FMCA is a membership as well. And so if you get the membership, it's $60 the first year and $50 every year thereafter. You can add on roadside assistance to your membership for $129 a year, and that covers pretty much any RV you want. They do provide unlimited towing and mobile mechanic services. Their trip interruption provision is $1,500 up to that amount. And they have other membership benefits, just like escapees. So you need to go through the member benefits and see whether it really works for you, if uh, it's important to you what they have to offer or not. All right, those are the five plans that I wanted to cover today and go over with you. Now, let me give you my personal situation. I have had the Good Sam Roadside Assistance Plan because I really believe in it. I believe in roadside assistance. In fact, the bigger your rig gets, the more important to me it really is for you to have some kind of roadside assistance. 
but Good Sam was marketing me to death. And so I decided to cancel that program. So we're sitting right now for a few months, but before we get back on the road, I'm going to be choosing either CoachNet, Escapees, or FMCA. And the reason for my choosing those uh, particular plans is because we have a large rig and they seem to be well suited toward big rigs. Now, the final point I want to mention is that in all of these plans, the details vary from one plan to another. I just hit the highlights today going through this, but if you're going to get really serious, uh, find a couple plans that you think could work well for you and then dive into the details. Find out what they really do and do not offer. Also, don't be surprised that the costs may vary from one state to another in some of these plans. So my final admonition is, before you buy, read everything very carefully. But I highly recommend a roadside assistance plan. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.